happy Saturday, everyone. My name is Dina, and I'm usually the host for the A to Z online marketplace show. But today we're going to tone it down a bit, and we're going to just chat with our tribe, so or my homies, or whatever you want to call them. So we have three wonderful ladies here today, and today we're just going to slow things down because people are always in such a rush of giving five minutes, and they're they're just having to spout off so quickly what they've got going on. But I think it's so much more when you get to know people one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to find out what makes them tick a little bit, where did they come from, what got them into what they're doing. We're just going to have a little more fun with it. But we're going to start with Karen. She's in Pennsylvania. So welcome, Karen. Hi, Dina. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Stacy. Hello, world. Welcome to our tribe chat. This is pretty awesome. So I work with Money, and we are a non-toxic, vegan, plant-based company that is in Doral, Florida. And we are loving every minute of our new product launches. We have another new product that came out yesterday, so I can't wait to tell you guys about that. Um, it, we have four masks now. We used to have three. Now we have four. And they are, I'm going to just make sure I say them both, the transformation mask, the hydrating mask, the super nourish mask, and the replenish. Now I have two of them here which I use pretty much once a week, maybe once every other week, because I have a lot of hair. And it's used in between your shampoo and your condition. So you kind of throw that in, in the middle. And the cool thing about this weekend is if you buy a mask and join as a VIP, you get one of all of these products. And I'm not kidding. All these are 10 bucks. And guess what, Dina? One of them is your very refined scrub which is insane, it's usually so expensive. So there's a moisturizer, purifying moist, moisturizer, there's a mousse, there are two kinds of shampoos and conditioners, there is a heat protectant, dry texturizing spray, dry shampoo, my goodness, what else do I have in here? Blow dry cream, I mean, it's insane. And there's even a men's product, which blew me away, because the men's line just came out like a minute ago. And um, that's what's really cool about it. But we are um, all into this big time and we're having a good time. It's my part-time hustle to the part-time hustle. I'm a full-time STEM teacher in Souderton, Pennsylvania, which is, if you sneeze, you'll miss it. We're between two exits on the turnpike in Pennsylvania. And we don't even have an exit. So you just kind of, okay, there was Satterton, goodbye. And you move on. Um, I have two boys. My boys are Christopher, who has just turned 23 this year, and TJ, who turned 31 this year. And I live in a little teeny weeny town that's called Skipback, and we don't even have a grocery store. And I'm not kidding. We have a Wawa, which is a, like a, I don't know, do you guys have Wawas out there? You're right? Okay, so you don't know what a Wawa is. It's basically like um, a stop and shop kind of place where you can get gas and get your, you know, little necessities and move on. It's like our 7-Eleven that we have out here. Okay, we have 7-Elevens too. Yeah, so yep. same. Similar, like Turkey Hill. There's a bunch of little um, little places like Royal Farms. But anyway, yeah. Um, I, I think, in my opinion, this job has the potential to become my full-time hustle. And Stacey and I have had conversations about it. And I think it's really important to be passionate about what you do. I love teaching. Don't get me wrong. It's, I'm really good at it. I'm a tech teacher. I teach STEM which is science, technology, engineering, and math. And I play with kids all day long. Like we have a blast. But you know, I've been doing it for 25 years and maybe it's, I'm kind of seeing some additional options out there. And, and this is nice because I can work from home, work from my phone, work from my laptop and still have, you know, a great life. Like I was feeling lousy this week. I had a terrible sinus infection and I woke up in the morning and there was money in my account and I didn't do anything because it's residual income. But I don't know. If you guys have any questions, feel free to, to jump in. We're having this crazy sale till tomorrow night. So if anybody's interested in getting anything, uh, I'm, I'm serious. I, can, I can't even believe that they offered this. I'm still like, what? <laughs> but that's what we do. This week, we have three flash sales. Wow. So yeah, exactly. How, how, how did you become uh, a presenter or a market, market partner? partner? For, yes. Weird story. My teacher assistant, who was a behavioral specialist named um, Raylita Peralta, she was working with a student and every day she came in, I'm looking at her hair, I'm looking at her hair, I'm like, you're doing something, aren't you? She said, I thought you'd never ask. She didn't want to be too forward because it was obviously we were working. And, and she said, well, you know, would you be interested? And I said, no. About, I don't know, 20 times? No. Finally, she brought it in, she put it in my hands, and she said, take this home and use it. You are going to love it. I said, yeah, yeah, whatever. So I took it home, and within two days, I started to see this dramatic change. My hair was brittle. It was split ends. It was unmanageable. 
truly repulsive. I hated my hair. It was rebellious. That's probably the best way to, way to explain it. And I mean, it's still a little crazy, but um, it's not as rebellious anymore because now I can control the curls and my curls are back. But yeah, so she got me hooked up. She gave me some products. I fell in love with them and it, it was like a drug. I said to her, I need more. And she said, well, you're going to have to order them. I said, you're not going to give me anything else? She said, no, you have to order now. <laughs> so I figured I like so many of the products. I figured maybe I'll just do the 199 to start up. And it got me this huge kit. In fact, I think I got a bigger kit than that. I think I got like the overachiever because I like the name of it because I'm kind of an overachiever. But anyway, I got this huge pack and I was glad I did it because eventually I'm going to buy this stuff anyway. And I just kind of sat on it for months. And in March when COVID hit, we were home, we had nothing to do, and I figured, you know what, I'm going to start posting. So I started posting my before and after pictures, and this transformation was just like unbelievable. Went from the ugly duckling to the, you know, the pretty duckling, like a swan. And I felt so, I felt so confident, which I didn't have before. Well, I can't imagine you not having confidence. You come across. Well, I was always a talker, but. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, you do. And of course, I, I saw your Instagram, you know, I, you got to check it out. She's got all sorts of things. But yeah, I you know, yeah, this is the time that people, you know, I, I want everyone to get to know everyone more on a person to person level because we just miss the, the knowing about people, you know. And I, I found out in doing the show is I would have never met Karen had it not from this show because the show really yes. is uh, coast to coast. And uh, Stacy and, and I go way back. Yeah. <laughs> and not to mention, uh, I, I love the product. My hair always is super soft. So like I said, I'm still waiting for the Bob Ross thing to happen, but it's going to be tons of fun when it does. So, Well, I mean, I'm already seeing a change in you. I'm seeing a change in Stacy. Um, Cynthia got it this week. She's all excited about starting. Christy's interested. And I, Sarah said something the other day. So we're going to have everybody's, we're going to not have enough room in the picture for all of our hair. <laughs> And well, then we also do skin products. And we also do wellness products. Yeah. And we have a pet line and we have a junior line and now we have a men's line. Like it just seems like anybody who has a person can use our products, which is, it's good. And it's expensive, but you don't use that much. No. I'm that's not going to lie. I mean, you really have to use a teeny weeny bit. And as Karen was saying, I mean, I, I did start using it probably, what, a month ago now? Yeah. And, um, because I lost a lot of hair, I had a, a specific surgery and, and it you know, kind of made me lose some hair. Um, I don't know if I see any little things yet, but I definitely feel my hair feels fuller and whatnot. And like Karen, I was a skeptic because she's like, just try it. Because I said, yeah, but it's not going to, because she was showing me these pictures of all these people that, you know, their hair's growing. I said, yeah, but mine is based from a surgery. It's not from, you know, environment or whatever. And she said, well, just try it. I'm like, all right, fine. So I'm Thank I'm you for trusting it. me. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, too, a lot of people have said, like my one girlfriend had COVID and she said, um, my hair's falling out. A lot of people are stress-related hair fallouts, and she has been using it about the same as you. So I'm curious to see when hers starts, if you'll be like pace cars to each other. And you will, it takes like six weeks before you start to see the peach fuzz popping up. So just it, take your pictures and pull your hair back and see where the changes have come on. And you'll even find that if you color your hair, the product stays in your hair longer. You don't have to dye it as often. Interesting. Because there's no plastic on the ends of your head. You're actually dyeing your hair instead of dyeing the plastic on top of your hair from all the old products we used to use. Oh. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. I mean, you think about when you do nails, um, like if you're doing acrylics or something like that, you take off the acrylic nail, you have that horrible, like, six months of transition. That's pretty much what your hair is doing after getting rid of all the bad products, stripping off all the bad stuff and then bring it back in. I don't know if you noticed, but when you do the first wash, it doesn't really lather that much, but the second time you get like major amount of lather, because the first well, and, time it's getting that, rid of the surface, first surface grime, and then the second time you're actually doing your scalp. That's Why actually funny that? to say that, because when I did it, you know, when I did the first, because you said you got a shampoo twice, which I've never done, it's like once and done, and when I did the first, I'm like, oh, this is crap, and mm -hmm. then I realized it is getting rid of all of the junk and maybe all of the other products mm -hmm. that have been coating my hair, and yeah, you're right, and I used way too much on the second, because I thought, oh, I need lather, and it was like, Oh, so much <laughs> it's the same when you wash your face you should emulsify always like rubber between your hands and get a froth but you should wash your face twice too the first time you're getting off the surface grime and then the second time you're actually doing a deep cleanse 
with clean hands because you don't want to have dirty hands because you're then putting the bacteria from your hands on your face and that's just a disaster. I've learned so much. I really and truly, I never work from notes because it's all my passion now and I really understand the product because I've used it. I've used right. pretty much everything except for anything for hair, for hair growth because heaven forbid I do that. Because it's literally, it's like really, 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 really long. <laughs> Well, yeah, you, you, it's, if you don't have passion about what you, what you're selling it, you're no bother. Don't bother because you have to, you have mm -hmm. to trust in it. You can't ask someone else to take a chance when you don't. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's perfect. So. And the one thing I wanted to mention to everybody, if you have something that you're really good at, like I do this online fitness thing and I have made a marriage between money and my fitness workout. So I'll do a tip or I'll show a product, or I'll talk about a sale, or I'll talk about something crazy that happened to me with it. And everyone, like, they know, like, and trust you. So at this point, they know me from my 15,000 videos. They like me because I think I'm pretty fun. And then they trust me because they've seen my product in action. And you've, you've watched, like, a transformation over the last year, and year and a month, I guess it's been, yeah. since I started on March 14th. Wow, a lot. Mm -hmm. 15, I think 000, I did huh? 350 classes since March 15th online. Wow. That's amazing. So, yeah, you're the, the best shape of my life. I mean, I because I don't really have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, one way to get in shape. I was like, hey, got things to do. Mm -hmm, for sure. Well, I appreciate that. We probably ought to hop in there and give Amanda some time today. Yes, we do here. Amanda, I got to tell you, I met Amanda, I can't remember if it's been, if December was three years or four years, but I met her doing a craft fair show and it was so funny. We did a three day event and it was a Thursday, Friday and a Saturday. I'll never forget it because she came and set up her table and then she was, she had to work. So she wasn't there for Thursday or Friday. So I sat next to an empty table for a couple of days and then I got to meet her. And it was just kind of interesting because I would have never met Amanda. Well, I mean, it took three days, but I would have never met Amanda had it not been her craft fair and doing these types of things. And of course, since then, I've, I've learned to love all the products. So go ahead, take it away, Amanda. Tell us more. Well, first, talking about that first craft fair, that was my first in-person vendor event ever. So I have to thank Dina for holding my hand because it was pretty nerve wracking. And that's probably the most amazing part of all of this. The people that I have met, the people that have been brought into my life by venturing out and playing with makeup. That's what I do. I play with makeup and I have fun with it, which is kind of silly, but I really, really enjoy it. It's um, much more than I ever expected it to become. I joined Unique about five, it's been just over five years ago. I had tried a couple products. And a friend of mine said, just get the kit, just get it. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll get it, I'll try, I'll see what happens. At that point, mind you, I wore black eyeliner and powder, and that was it. We didn't do primer, my skincare routine we're not even going to talk about because it was nearly non-existent. <laughs> but I've learned so much and gained so much confidence and grown so much. It's kind of funny to think about because in high school, I graduated a year early, so I graduated as a junior. I sped through, got all my classes done because I was so over high school that I was at a point my junior year where I was either going to drop out or graduate early. And um, didn't really care about what classes I took so long as I had enough to graduate. I was going to go to beauty school. I was going to be a makeup artist. So lo and behold, I graduate early and I get a job as a secretary in a dermatopathology lab. So skin biopsies, they process them and determine what they are. And it was so fascinating. I went to MA school, curbed the makeup thing until five years ago when I was like, okay, sure, we'll play with it. We'll see what happens. And really that's, that's my favorite thing. I meet the most amazing people. Most amazing people have been brought into my life. I am pulled out of my shell more often because I'm actually a hermit and extremely shy. These things are definitely not easy, but it's just a ton of fun. It is definitely a part-time hustle. I'm still a full-time medical assistant. Uh, I have two kids. 
Anne Marie is 16 and Jason is 12 and a hubby. We've got two pugs and a cat, so we have a house full for sure. Thankfully, both pugs are sleeping and quiet right now. I've been waiting for them to go crazy barking. Um, but this is how I enjoy spending my free time. It's my hobby, learning new things, learning techniques, understanding products and ingredients better. Um, I do want to show we have brand new lip glosses, and I'm not a lip gloss girl. Never have been. It's sticky, and I go outside, my hair gets in it. Never my thing, right? So we've got new lip glosses, newly formulated, non-tacky. And of course, I had to get one of each to try them, so I got to check out the shades. Two of them are ones that have been brought back, which I already knew and loved. And then we have four new shades. So I do want to show you some swatches of those and share that the lip gloss, this is the really cool part. It's packed with lip care. Like it's actually improving your lips and nourishing your lips, even though it's a makeup product. So I oh, thought that that was really cool. Um, it's packed with five plant-based oils. One is goji berry, which helps create the appearance of smoother, softer lips. Prickly pear flower, which we're very familiar with, it gives skin a more toned and textured appearance in chamomile, and it, which helps support more even looking skin. And it smells amazing. Fun fact, as I threw one on the floor. So quickly, I wanna show you the first one. It's a little harder to see, but the first one is loyal and it's a clear shimmer. It's super pretty. This is one that we brought back. The second one is the one I'm wearing today. It's lonesome, it's baby pink. So it's gonna be that second one on my hand right there. And it might be my new favorite. I'm also not really a baby pink lip gal. I like either a nude or a really bold lip, but the baby pink is pretty. We've got Lux, which is this third one. It's a beautiful chocolate brown nude. I don't have the new packaging for it because someone already bought it from me. So this is the old one. Then we have Lighthearted. It's bright plum. I tried it the other day and it's really pretty. It seems to work well with most skin tones and it's not crazy purple lip. It's just a little pop of color. Then we have Legendary. This one is probably gonna be my favorite. It is Grape Berry and it's that second from the last one. And we have Loved, Deep Brown. Anne Marie tried this one last night and really, really liked it. It's funny, uh, when they came in, I brought, I just brought it into her room and I said, try this. Okay, and she puts it on and she goes, wow, that's really smooth. Mind you, Anne Marie is a lip gloss gal. She likes that really shiny, textured feeling. Um, and she's like, it's really smooth. What is this? And I'm turning it and I'm like, look, child, it says unique. What? Really? So I'm gonna have to guard these carefully because she's definitely gonna take them from me. Um, one other feature, which I really like on the upgrade, is they have a doe foot applicator. So it holds some product in the reservoir, but it's also sort of a more pointed tip and I find it easier for application. And these are huge, huge. I brought a lip balm just to show you huge. So that's my fun, exciting product to share for today. We've got lots of specials. We always have specials. If you have any questions whatsoever, I love just chatting and trying to figure out if you're looking for something, what might help a concern you have or help build your confidence, which is one of the best parts of it, and just chatting about it. There's no obligation. I'm starting to do one-on-ones with people again where I actually go out and we play with the items and color match. I'm still wearing a mask just for safety. You know, got to keep the kids safe. Um, but I am starting to do that again and would love to come out and play with stuff if anyone's interested or curious and local. Well, there you go. And of course, you know, what I've noticed on the lip, I'm a lip gloss person because you know, I have the original square uh, containers, and when they went away, I was like, oh, what happened? You know, when I didn't find them on the, uh, on the website one day, I about freaked out because I, I can't imagine getting any better because they were very smooth, 
a very soft, easy, they went on. I'm wearing one today from my old stuff. I'll have to do the new stuff. But when you see those bright colors with lip gloss, they never come on like a lipstick would be very bright. bright. You know, so that's the thing. Don't be afraid to give it a try. And I can imagine Anne Marie being all over that, but she is so cute. She really is. And I'm, I'm just going to, from now on, call her my personal shopper, you know. And uh, even at the craft fair we had, on the last couple, for sure, she was able to go point out things. When you went for coffee runs, she was able to point out things. So she's got it down. So she's going to be, she's going to have to get her own beauty box, I think. Tell her it's time to do that. So it, so you got into this because you needed to dabble. I didn't know you were ever about your history of wanting to be into makeup. That's kind of interesting. I honestly completely forgot about it. I was working as a secretary, so I was typing up the actual reports that were going back to the doctor saying, yes, this is a skin cancer. No, this is not. It's nothing to be concerned about. And the terminology fascinated me. I immediately enrolled in MA school, did it at night while working full time. Before I was 18, I think I was 17 when I started MA school. And that's just what I followed. And I always thought being a makeup artist and actually working with people on television would have been interesting as a teenager. But then I forgot about it. You know, I worked, I had kids, I had other things going on. And actually one of our medical students um, was the one that mentioned to me, maybe you should try the box after I'd made a couple purchases from other people of the eyeliner pencil and the eye primer, nothing big, nothing crazy. But it was one of our former medical students. And she's like, just try it. You know, you get all the stuff, see what happens. And I, I can't thank her enough. Um, she's not with us anymore. But without her, I wouldn't have my Y family. None of my team is in Arizona. I met them for the first time two years ago at convention. It's been about two and a half years. And it's, it's just phenomenal. The team and the tribe that I built with them. So, yeah. Well, that's I awesome. And, and, of course, all your products are really safe. For those people that are afraid of cancer and all those things that you're talking about, they're very safe. That, that's the nice thing. There's not a bunch of, of harmful products in unique stuff. So that's always nice to know because I've had to look, obviously, at things, too. So, and for all those who need that beauty box, I would suggest you highly get in on it. I saw this month's beauty box and went, oh, that's nice. Yeah, lots of, lot of great product. Did you know that prior beauty box purchasers can purchase again after a certain amount of time? Oh. Um, I believe I know a few people that have met that time limit. <laughs> me? <laughs> yep. <it> me? <laughs> yep. Well, yeah, you know, because, well, one, you know, I love the eyeliner. You guys have the best eyeliner, but you better buy your pencil sharpener because it's the only one that doesn't chew up your eyeliner. There's no need to go, oh, I don't want to pay for the eyeliner or the pen or the sharpener because be stupid. Otherwise, regular ones tend to chew up like your eyeliner goes from here to like here. So that would be stupid. So buy it. You know, it's going to be that investment. Buy it. It's great stuff. But I'm, I'm back and forth on the uh, mascara. Some days it's the twisted, some days it's a 4D, and I'm just, so I will wear one for three months, it goes, I wear the next one, it goes, and then I'm always confused, which one do I like better? I like them for different reasons, like when you want a fuller lash, I like the 4D, but I really love that you give all these great tips of using on the twisted, using the two, uh, the two brushes. You're really defining, I, I had never thought about, oh, let me use this one. I guess I would have thought, Small brush on bottom, large one on top. That's probably how I would have done it had I not been instructed to do it right. <laughs> so, no, you know, and like I said, I love the product. So I may have to hop in there and do another one because the products in there are worth quite a bit. This current box is worth $410, plus you get a free coupon for foundation. It is insane. If Anne-Marie was old enough, she would get one. You have to be 18 to get one, though. Uh, we can't give her a fake ID. I'm for sure she needs one. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, huh. oh, well, okay. Well, that's, that's perfect. So anyone have any questions about this awesome line? 
Well, I'm a new user to Unique, and um, Amanda has turned me on to. Well, I just got the <laughs> I just got the powder the powder foundation. I guess what's what we call it. Um, what two days ago? I, we we did a, a a drug deal, as as Dina and I call it, when I meet her to to, uh, ex, to uh, exchange jewelry for money. We actually met up, and and uh, she gave me the the powder foundation, and I really like the 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 feel of it. I don't know if you can see. Um, we weren't quite sure about the shade, and the jury might still be out that I might need okay. the, the the yellow, the more yellow, but but I really love the feel of it. It's a light coverage because I'm not a cream foundation girl. But same with Dina, man, that mascara, and I have the the purple one and the teal. Oh my gosh, they're so fun. I mean, yeah, it's great to have black, but it's also nice to have those fun colors and just you know have fun with your makeup. So. And, and I also use the, uh, the brow pencil. So, yep, I'm and in, inching my way into all of the, the cosmetic line of Unique. So I'm very happy with everything I've gotten. It's Sounds definitely like I wanted to bring up that I use the primer on my eyes, and it is incredible. Um, I didn't realize how much I needed it, but about halfway through the day, because I work in a really humid environment at school, and halfway through the day, I was getting the creasing. And that has decreased considerably. So I'm really happy with that. And I use the eyeliner and I also have the 40 mascara. So we're all, we're all faithful fans. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we really are. And of course, I will, I will show you. As you see, I have two matching eyebrows. Um, I have one, one totally blonde one. Of course, now it may be age. And I had one brown one. So it was like feeling stupid a little bit, being two different colors. So I use their... Um, I have the little brow palette and I love it because it makes you feel like you're balanced and not off balance. Like I said, I, I thought it was kind of funny because my hair has always been on the browner side in my life. And when I went to the grocery store one day and um, the lady looked at me and I think she was looking at this side of me with this really blonde looking eyebrow that I had not done anything with. And she goes something about what's well, nice to go brown. <laughs> I'm like, huh? And then I, I thought, what is she talking about? And I thought, oh, that's what she's talking about. You know, so I will be blunt. Yes, this is what real life is like. We're always a little mixed, mixed up. So, hey, perfect time to make everything beautiful and, and matching. And Unique has helped me do that. I would have never thought about that. So, you know, I'm learning, you know, I, you know, old dogs can learn new tricks. I always find it fascinating when you tell me about the two different eyebrows. Because I never would have guessed. And I kind of have a funny brow story. I never did my brows. Like I said, I wore powder because I wore sunscreen and it made me greasy. It was probably CoverGirl powder and just black eyeliner. Liquid on the top, pencil on the bottom, right? So a couple years ago at work, one of my coworkers mentioned a couple times, you really need to do your brows. And I'm like, what do you mean? My brows are fine. They're there. No problem, right? And so I started doing them regularly, and I can tell you, even on days when I don't wear makeup, if I don't have my brow pencil on, I feel naked. And I know I don't do them crazy. I do them super natural, but it's really interesting what a difference it makes from not doing them. Um, my mom has been asking about the brow pencil for a while, so one of these days we'll actually find a time for me to go over and she can try it. Because she's, she's on the fence. I feel like her brows are pretty good. But, you know, I went however many years with not doing mine and thinking they were great. And I see old pictures now and I'm like, oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Well, you, it, it's, it's funny because uh, I always say that brows kind of uh, define your, your features a little bit because if you don't have them, everyone notices, right? Or if you have caterpillars or a unibrow, we all notice those. But... Uh, it also, when I know when, when you just have a picture taken, it's like if you're, you can be totally washed out without doing your brows. And it's such a, you know, I, I don't like some of the new brows is like, holy cow, what, what century are you in? Your brows don't need to be this big, you know, going from one side of your forehead to the other. So we don't need to do that, you know, but this is, you just still be very natural looking and it just be framing the face. So yeah, it doesn't make people look and go, oh, what did they do today? You know, great, great product. And there's always, a, I love your, um, where you can, was it, what's your mirror thing called? Try and buy or? The beauty try on room. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. that, 
that's a really a nice way to do it, especially when you're not doing a one on one with someone who can help you. That's that's the perfect thing to try. So yeah, so everyone needs to do that. So oh well, I guess we ought to give Stacy a chance to talk today, huh? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Stacy, so, okay. that's what well, we're doing. We're chatting. Yeah. We're getting to know each other. So <laughs> yeah. Well, I got to know Stacy. Is it been three years three. now? Three yep. years now. It was trying to do. Uh, I can't remember. Was it our first craft fair? I think it was our first craft fair for Fort Lowell Arts and Crafts. And uh, I was taking applications online, and we chatted a little bit online. And that's when she told me a little bit about herself. And, and of course, the usual things, what's the traffic flow and, you know, all this kind of stuff. So I got her to come in. And since then, we, we've been buddies. You know, we've even been known to go to the movies and sneak in like a couple old ladies. So it's been lots <laughs> of fun, you know. So, uh, no, no, I don't. When I say sneak in, I don't, you know, pay and then open the side door. I don't do that. We're, we're legit. You know, we really are. So, but that that's the fun. This is like I said, another way between the Zoom shows and the live events, I actually get to meet people because I'm a stay-at-home person all the time, and my whole life is, you know, dragging the grandkids here and there. That's it. You know, I don't have anything. Card card playing on Tuesday, you know, that kind of stuff. That's been my life. So this is fun to get to know people. So go ahead. Give it to you now. Well, um, Thanks for the intro. Uh, I'm Stacy. Um, my name is actually Stacy Loser, but I always go by Stacy Lynn just because of the spelling of my last name, which is spelled like loser. So it's just easier to go by Stacy Lynn, um, which is kind of unusual because I've never really liked my middle name, uh, but I use it. Uh, I live in Tucson, Arizona, as probably everybody knows, and I moved out here in 1984, November of 1984. Uh, when I was in my 20s, <laughs> very young, uh, my, the majority of my family actually lives out here. My cousins, um, I don't have any aunts or uncles, but all of my distant, my first, second, third cousin, or well, I guess second, third, fourth cousins all lived down here. They moved out here in the 50s, and they were my mom's direct cousins, and she moved out here actually in 1983, and I really miss my mom. So, you know, as a young 20-something with, which really, and I, you know, didn't have any career to speak of. I mean, I had a job, but not a career. I thought, okay, I'm just going to bite the bullet. and I'm going to move to Tucson. And that's what I did. And here I am. It was like a hundred years later <laughs> in Tucson and loving Tucson. And uh, as far as my jewelry, this is my, uh, as Karen calls it, my, my side hustle. This is actually a new term for me. I had not really heard that before. Uh, until recently, this whole side hustle thing, I actually work full time for a company called NextGen, and they sell uh, medical, dental software, all kinds of specialties. Um, and I uh, implement and train the behavioral health piece of that specialty. So I'm on a team of, I want to say there's 15 of us. So we, you know, train train the customers. <clears throat> uh, on the on the software, and so that is my my full time thing. So it's it's kind of the analytical side because I have to guide them as to maybe what the best practice is for them and, and understand that. So doing jewelry has really opened up that other side of my brain, the creative side. And I actually started this business, which I didn't even know it would be a business, uh, back July third of twenty eighteen. So I'm coming up on my three year anniversary. And I just did it because I like jewelry. So I thought, okay, well, I'm just going to make stuff for me. I'm going to figure out how to make stuff. Uh, when I was in high school, I took uh, what's called a lapidary course. We actually had these really cool classes in high school. And lapidary is when you're, you know, using solder and you're, you know, creating things with solder and making bezels for, you know, different stones or whatever. So I was doing that. Uh, and then, of course that kind of fell by the wayside. But anyway, so July 3rd, I just thought, okay, I'm going to take a crack at this. I created a page, I created a group on Facebook, and I just started making a couple of things here and there. And here we are almost three years later, and people are really happy. And I never, I never thought that people would like things that I like, but I guess they do. So 
that's that's kind of how this all happened. Uh, I do have a couple of pieces that I wanted to show today. This is a new style, and so I have to get it just right. As everybody knows, I am loving tiger's eye lately, and this is the blue tiger's eye, and it, it's in this little ring, and then I have some uh, other rings here to match the blue, and these are eight. So what I make, everything with uh, sterling silver filled, which keeps the price point reasonable, but everything, you everything that touches your skin is sterling, so that for those who have allergies, um, shouldn't have any allergies with my pieces. So I have a couple of the same style. So this is the fuchsia tiger's eye, and it doesn't look like the fire's coming out, but those who have seen some of the tiger's eye pieces before know how, how pretty that these are. And that's also $8. So I have two more like that. This is actually the um, uh, aqua dragon vein. And hopefully you can see the one farthest from my fingernail, that black veining. And I paired it again with the kind of the turquoise colored rings. And then the last one is the green tiger's eye with the green rings. And of course, what, what is a show without Druzy or Sea Glass or mullets? <laughs> I think I'm going to coin Tuesday, Mullet Tuesday. So <laughs> the Tuesday show, I'm going to have my mullets. <laughs> so these are, have been very popular. This is the rainbow hematite with the rainbow Druzy. And then I also have kind of a, a rainbow colored um, crystals at the top. So my, Druzy, my uh, mullets are $10. And this one's been very popular. I think I sold four just this week, which is turquoise. So it's great for the Southwest. And I have little cactus paired with it. So these are also $10. And then the last pair I wanted to show is just because these have been a little popular too. They're extremely long, but they're so fun. And they have the infinity charm with huge aventurines. And these are $10. I'm going to hold them up to myself so you can see how long they are, but I still have a lot of kind of clearance between my ear and my shoulder. So even though they seem very long, which they are, uh, they are still wearable, I guess is the best word to say. So that's what I had to show today. <laughs> so well, I think <laughs> Karen... It needs that length, right? <laughs> That's Karen's length. Uh, we were already teasing that she was going to uh, do uh, several druzies, not druzies, uh, several um, mullets, like four at a time. So she can, I think that's like the, the party cycle. You have them super long and they're dangling, you know, or for some pop stars, it's their clothing maybe. You know, it's a little fun. But yeah, what I like is that, uh, of course, I'm wearing yours today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this one off. And I'll see if it show. It's got oh, all yeah. the crystals of the different colors in the rings. So it, you know, and of course I have the mullet with the little cactus because Anne Marie, our personal shopper, went over to your booth and picked those out. And you know, it's kind of funny. I guess I'm surrounded by cactus all the time. I probably wouldn't have thought that as my first choice, but I wore them. I go, oh, those are fun. But I do like that when um, I say, hey. You know, do you have something in this color? You're really good at trying to figure it out. And then you, you send a picture and say, what about this? What about this? So it isn't just her friend she does this for. She does this for other people. So make it personal. You know, have her have her design something for you uh, for a birthday gift, whatever. I know I that's what I did for my mother-in-law. Or I can't remember. I did it for, I don't know if it was Christmas or for... Her birth, I think it's for her birthday. We did a gift certificate. And then she just picked what she wanted out. Because, uh, you know, I have always bought her jewelry because she loves jewelry. But I thought, mm, I'm going to let her choose this time. I'm going to back off. So, and it was a perfect way to do it. So, no, it's well, great. And, oh, go ahead, Amanda. So, I was wondering, you posted a pair earlier this week. I believe they were mullets with uh, Druzy and maybe a fuchsia tiger's eye. Mm -hmm. Sounds familiar. Yes. Yes. Those are super yes. tempting. Yes. And you know me, I just wear my boring little studs that I never change. Although they're not, I, they're solitaires. So they're not so boring. But those ones keep catching my eye. So if you'll set that aside for me. 
Absolutely. Because, and that is a great testament because you did mention that to me at the craft fair that you are, you know, a pretty, pretty uh, true to, to, to that. So if you are willing to actually oh, yeah. go out of your comfort zone, that is a yeah. great testament. So yeah. yeah, I know exactly which ones you're talking about. They have the wings on them, but if you yeah. want a different charm, I can totally change it. So okay. yeah, we'll look at that for sure. Amory has been wearing a pair every day. So Aww. that tells you something. <laughs> She's really, really liking them. So yeah, I figure I'll give them a try. I'll take these out and change them every once in a while. <laughs> Well, and that's that's the, the most fun about this whole thing is doing collaboratives. I did collaboratives with Karen. I've done one or two with Dina that they just say, hey, this is kind of what I'm thinking about. What can you come up with? And being, you know, really tapping into that creative side and trying to um, figure out what is the best uh, option. And and then when they say, yeah, that's the one, then it's like, yay! That's, that's so <laughs> fun to do that collaborative. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Casey was great. Um, we worked, um, my college, Rosemont College out of the main line in Philadelphia is having a centennial celebration. And when I introduced the items to the girls on the whole committee, they went bananas. And I said, well, how many should we order? And she said 500. And I wasn't sure if she was serious or not. So I told Stacy and Stacy was like, Ooh. <laughs> and then she says, you know, let's, let's keep it real here. And I go, I didn't give me a check yet, but <laughs> telling me 500. So we'll see. It's not till April of 2022. So we have a little bit of time, but you know, I, I want to make sure that we have enough time to get her everything done. And you know, we don't have to rush. Have yeah, I've heard it will take me a minute. <laughs> yes, it will take you a minute, but they'll be fabulous. And you're so personalized. You know, everything you do is just so, so meticulous and gorgeous. And, and I'm just really, I love my set. I got the necklace, the bracelet, and the earrings. And I think we were talking about maybe doing a mullet too, a rose mullet. I think that'd be beautiful. Yes. Well, I'm and I in. think it's your next, at your next um, committee meeting, you were going to show the it's bracelet. In June. And yeah. Well. Yeah. I think it's in June. Yeah. I'm so. Yeah, that's going to be exciting. Yes. Exciting venture together. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be working with you after all these years. Well, thank you. We grew up in the same town. Yep, we sure did. Well, I can just <laughs> see it now. Stacy's going to be getting a U of A will be calling her. And what can you do? Where's my wildcats, right? <laughs> right. Well, and it's funny you say that. Not, not so much wildcats, but I have um, somebody, oh gosh, last year sometime said, hey, I want to support my football team. And it's a, it was a pro, I don't remember what team it was, but she said, hey, what colors can you come up with? So I came up with the colors and I actually found football charms. So I think come September, I'm going to make a bunch of different teams because I, I mean, I love my Eagles, even though, you know, they're not oh. doing that. Good. I am a diehard Eagles fan. And so I made myself a pair of Eagles with the football charms and I might do them as mullets. You never know. <laughs> well, I so you just start from Dallas. Do what? what? Stars for Dallas for you? Yes, that's what I'm thinking. And will an Eagles fan make Dallas Cowboys earrings? That's the question. Uh, if it makes me a sale, I'll make whatever you want. <laughs> okay. okay, you got a deal. So, yeah, I, I actually have stars, so I could do stars or I could do the football. So with the blue and the white, I absolutely can. Okay, all right. <laughs> Well, Easy, just pretend it's Penn State. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, so glad I'm not worried about it. I just wear earrings. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I do it for fun now. That's all I got to say. So no, this this has been great because it's. I, I think this is a wonderful time, really, to get to for people to get to know you a little bit more. But I really hope that everyone goes out and looks at your pages, but also goes in just for support of small business. That, that's what all of us are. It's just small businesses. Go give them a like, you know, go help them out. But so we're going to make sure to post everyone's information so they can do that. Um, but I, one thing I want to tell you, since this show, the AZZ Online Marketplace show, is from coast to coast, basically, which even though a big chunk of us are in Arizona, and then, of course, we've, we've got Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and, and Oregon, and yeah, a little bit all over. Uh, and we're trying to all, always grow that because we love people across, across the United States. Is Since the East Coast is three hours ahead of Arizona time, 
we're going to move our Wednesday show to, to view at 530. So we're going to go one hour early because I have to keep remembering. I believe that Arizona, I always thought it was Mountain Standard Time, but I believe we're on Pacific Time right now until November. So I have to remember that we're Pacific Time, not Mountain Standard Time. So, you know, it may be 530 in Arizona, but it's going to be 830 on the East Coast. So, so like I said, we're still going to have fun. We're going to leave Saturday show the way it is, but I, I'm just anxious to see who we're going to chat with next on this because this has always been a, a lot of fun to do a show and get to know people a little more one-on-one -on -one and get a little chat session is even more fun than just say this is what I have so I do appreciate all of you coming out and, and well I think we need to hear about you Dina about me oh I'm kind of a, a nightmare person um well no. you know well I I sell Lula Rose products I don't have anything near me right now I'll tell you that I, it's kind of funny because I, I only got into the craft fair stuff because of my cousin, Donna. She was started making sugar scrubs. It's the only thing she made was sugar scrubs. She started doing it because of giving it as a gift. And then so, pe so many people wanted the sugar scrub that she's like, well, you know, you want to hear the funny thing? She says, can you make me a website? And I went, excuse me, I don't make websites. Who do you think you're talking to? So she said, well, can you make me a free one? There's like templates. I, okay, I'll look into it. I said, do you have a picture or something? So she sent me copies of labels and I made her something. It took like a month of saying, what about this? And then she'd take her four days to get back to me. So it took forever. And then she says, I finally, I says, wait a second. What I don't understand here is she didn't want to pay for a website. I said, what I don't understand here is how do you expect people to pay you? And she says, why can't they pay me? I said, do you think a stranger is going to send you their credit card information? Not being as secure. So then, of course, I had to start the whole thing again and redo the entire website again, you know, and, and we just paid for it. And then eventually it got a little boring to only having one thing. I said, how do you have a website with one product? You know, so then it was like, she said, well, let's make other things. Well, that's like an open invitation for insanity. So that's like, okay. So it was, it's like, okay, we're going to do a bubble bath. We're going to do shower gels. We're going to start making perfumes. Uh, we, we lip butters. I did that too. Yes. Uh, lip scrubs. We did uh, stuff for your feet. Oh gosh. You know, the list became so big. It's like, it was just so much to carry to a craft fair. So we'll probably be doing it again, a little bit of it in November, but I'm paring it down because I do Lilla Rose, which please me, uh, weighs so much less than products that, uh, you know, weigh eight and 10 ounces per package. And when you take 400, it's way too much because I don't know how to do th things on a small scale. I have to go, let's take it all, you know? So that's my, my insanity. So, but I, I do love it. But like I said, craft fair, I would never have gotten into this had it not been for her wanting to do it. And I would have never gotten into being a host of a craft fair out, outside of a fluke thing is she would say she works, she's a director of human resources for a hospital. And she says, well, you have more time, go find a place for us to go set up at. Okay. So I would, I'd say, okay, here, I found this craft fair. And she says, oh, that date doesn't work for me. <sighs> okay. What date works for you? And then I'd go look for another, what about this one? Uh, I don't like that place. It was like that. And I said, as Kai in jest, I said, what about your church? Have them uh, donate the spot. And it, it was just kind of a throwing it out there. And then all of a sudden it became my job. Here you go. Make it happen. It's like, so no, I, I do not get paid to promote the craft fair, but it's kind of what I call it is a labor of love. So we've made a, an agreement that I don't donate my time but we get to pick a charity and I get to pull the first $5 out of everyone's fee for a donation. We, we picked someone and this last time it was to help the kids for, it was Grace Retreat. We were able to send them money because that's a great organization for foster children and for adopt, adopted families. And I don't know if people understand how big that is because it really, that's one of the organizations that's big and dear to my heart because I adopted a grandson. 
uh, I was, I, I, it's my birth mother, but my, my father adopted me. Yeah, so I'm an adopted child. But also what I realized when they were delivering, what I say delivering my, my, even though he's my grandson, I had to become a foster parent first. I had to do all the FBI background checks. I had, you know, got fingerprinted, did, all, you know, did everything they told me. When they delivered them, they were delivering them by taxi cab, like packages. And I, it, was, it just really broke my heart to see you go outside to, to pick them up and get their little bag. And there's all these children with these sad little faces. And I don't think that people realize that there's nearly 17,000 children in just the state of Arizona that are in that position. So that's what I call my labor of love. <laughs> So that's that's what I'm about. I you know I don't do it for name or glory, but to help out. So I appreciate all of you coming out because this has been wonderful seeing you guys. So we're going to see now several more of you come Wednesday at five thirty, right? So yep. all right. Well, once again, please post on the A to Z online marketplace. Please invite all your friends and just. Have them come out and join us. We're always going to have fun. Okay, love you all. Have a great weekend. Bye, Bye. Bye everyone.